starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. young fella. That ought to fix your wagon. Hmm. We'll see about that. Three. My fighting blood is just getting all boiled up now. May I borrow my son's attention? But, Mom, I better give Uncle Petrie another chance. Oh, only for a minute, dear. I need his help. I have to make up my mind if this jelly's good enough to enter in the fair. Well, that ought to stop any game. That's good, because I want your opinion, mm. too. Mmm. Ah. Mommy. Well, what's the verdict? Well, it tastes like first prize jelly to me. Me too. Me too. Oh, I'm not sure you can be trusted. Took you too long to make up your mind. <laughs> Lassie hasn't even touched it. Well, that's the verdict. I think Lassie's hearing something outside. Oh, it's just the wind. I'll open the door so she can see there's nothing there. Cats have nine lives. I only got one. That, that wet kicks up my rheumatism. Let's close the door. Now, wait a minute. Couldn't we... Oh, come on. Let's take it in just till we're sure the storm's over. Of course. But what about Lassie? You expect her to put up with a cat? <laughs> Lovely yellow color. Can we name him Mustard? Yes, I think that's a very good name for him. Uh, let me examine that sick paw. Can we keep him, Dad? May we, dear? May we keep him, Dad? Can we? Well, uh. Lassie likes mustard, don't you, girl? <laughs> Well, we'll give him a try. Mess is gonna stay. Well, <clears throat> my diagnosis is that uh, this cat must have sprained his ball. Is it bad? Well, I know medicine that'll make him as good as new. We buy the ingredients in town tomorrow. Some uh, Jixon weed, Indian herbs, snake oil. Dr. Petrie, would you mind prescribing a little sleep for Timmy? It's way past his bedtime. Can Mustard sleep with Lassie and me? No, dear. I think one pet in the room is enough. Mustard sleeps in the barn. He's got a big job to do. Can't he sleep with us and tell Uncle Petrie's medicine makes him well? <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Come on, Lassie. Last one in bed is Lazy Bones. Get started. I want to get back by noon. Well, just hold your horses, Paul. It won't take a minute. There. Now, just you stay there and take it easy. As soon as I get back from town, I'll brew up a salve. I'll have you good as new in no time. <laughs> All right, wind her up.
poor thing can hardly budge. I'll move the saucer so he'll only have to stick out his tongue. He spent 65 cents of his own money picking on a mess of herbs. Oh, you're a kind man, Uncle Petrie. Oh, I'm kind, too. He spent an hour of my time picking that stuff out. Wait a minute, lassie. Just as soon as Timmy helps me carry this stuff inside. Now we'll see. Paul, you give a look in that barn and you'll take back what you said about my wasting your time picking out those herbs. <laughs> Mustard, you're a real champion. That grain scavenger must have put up a pretty good fight, but it was no match for you. No, sir, not even with that injured paw. <laughs> Mustard, the winner and new champion. I apologize. Yeah, what do you say, Mustard? Now, if you can keep those pests from feasting on my corn, you'll be the star boarder around here. This calls for a celebration. Milk is on the house. Come on, Lassie. Here, Lassie. Thank you. Well. For valor in line of duty, for ridding our barn of a grain thief, we raise our glasses in a toast to welcome Mr. Mustard as a full-fledged member of the Martin family. Here. Yeah.
Stay here the rest of the night? Let's go to bed. The medicine smells, the uh, quicker the patient gets well. How much longer do we have to soak him? Well, just about uh, now. There we are. I got him. Mm, better, much better. What happens now, doctor? Yeah, what he needs is a little gentle exercise so that leg won't stiffen up. I'll take him. All right, but no running or dashing about. Just easy and slow, you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, Lassie. Slow, Lassie, slow. I know you didn't bother those chickens. <laughs> Stop being jealous of mustard. You have to be friends. You take it easy, Mustard. We'll wait for you on the other side of the woods. Bye. Come on, Lassie. Let's go home and tell him about mustard. Poor cat. He limped over to me and, well, just look at him. Really, I don't know what's gotten into Lassie. Lassie! Mustard's gone! It isn't! A big mountain lion attacked Mustard, and he ran and jumped and everything. There wasn't anything wrong with his paw at all. Now, Timmy. But, Mom... Mom says that Lassie chased the cat. We don't understand. Lassie saved Mustard from a mountain lion. And then Mustard made believe he couldn't walk. And when I told him he was bad, he ran home. Hmm. That's some story, boy. It's not a story. Mustard's a storyteller. Lassie never ate those eggs at all. Mustard did. 
I know, dear. We think it's wonderful that you love Lassie so much. Sure, son, but... Uh... Look, I have an idea. Let's, uh, let's just go into the house and simmer down, shall we? We can have some cookies and a nice drink to cool off. Well, that's a first-rate idea. She ran away, and I don't blame her. Lassie! 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 enough to eat a steak raw. Well, the menu is leftovers. Well done. Anything you do is well done. And I must say, there's nothing like a plow to sharpen a man's appetite. Seems to me a couple of things are missing. Now, Timmy. Oh, Lassie. I wonder what's keeping them. Lassie, help me. hasn't been the same ever since Mustard set foot in this house. It ain't fair to blame a cat for what a dog does. You don't suppose Timmy's right, do you? No, oh, it's a little unbelievable. Oh! My jam! Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. Who'd have believed it? And Timmy didn't invent those stories. Any cat that can jump up to my jam shelf is well enough to do anything. He also could have leaped up and gotten at those eggs in the chicken house. Oh, Paul, I'm worried now. Let's call Boomer and see if Timmy's over there. Uncle Petrie... I'll take the car and go the back way down to the creek. Never mind, Jenny. Thanks. Oh, Timmy, I'm so glad you're here. We, um, we have something to tell you about mustard. You were right, darling. I apologize, Lassie. To you too, son. Me too. Limping me out of 60 cents worth of medicine. You can put that paw down, mustard. You're just an old faker. If you were able to jump up to that shelf, you can just as easily jump down. I guess I'll have to warm up the leftovers again. Uh-uh. Let those leftovers be leftover. This calls for a celebration. Let's go out to eat. Oh, Paul, it's so expensive. Well, that's how we'll pay for the lessons that Timmy and Lassie taught us. Well, I've been educated, too. I'll pay half, Paul. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Let's go. Well, all right. Lassie's going, too, isn't she? Well, sure, she's a guest of honor. She's going to get a big, meaty bone. Uncle Petrie. You help me get those dishes and put them in the icebox. We're going out to dinner. Look, over there. It's Not mustard. mustard. beginning to feel sorry about leaving him alone while we go off for dinner. Nobody need ever feel sorry for that cat. And it all goes to prove that animals aren't much different than humans. Some of them like mustard take while 
Others, like Lassie, give. <laughs> what do you say, girl? <laughs>